Dear Professor Gabriel Pairican and everyone else around the world who is watching this video. Hi and welcome to your video reflective diary. In this video my classmate and teammate Martin Correa and myself Matias Miranda are going to present to you in this video how is the dynamic in our very first intensive practicums in pandemic times. To begin Mr. Gabriel Pairican, who is in charge of all practicum students of the high school program of English teaching at Universidad de Talca, Bucas and School for Lin from Linares, Chile. This school is called Escuela Alejandro Guidi. As we mentioned before, this school is located in Linares, Chile. As we are we are, are doing in the majority of the country and the world during the whole semester, this practicum experience has been entirely completed online. Regarding classes, our mentor teacher is Claudia Muñoz, an English teacher of 32 years old. She studied English language teaching program like us, but at Universidad Autónoma. Martin and I are in charge of two courses. The first one is an eighth grade of elementary. Meanwhile, the other one is a first grade of elementary. This school only got pre and elementary education for the same reasons. They do not have high school students from first until fourth grade. Regarding specific, specific educational context, it's known that Matias and I are part of the high school program. For the same reason, we only teach English. Our schedule is a one cross one, in which one week we have classes on Wednesday with first grade, and the other week we have classes on Thursdays with eighth grade. Both classes in every week are from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. approximately. Well, of course, that one of the things that impress us the most is the fact that our first intensive practicum was online because of this pandemic that no one could predict. Other thing that impress us is how good can teachers and in addition pre-service teachers can adapt their rhythm and class planning because as we all know, this teaching model is quite new for the majority of us. Regarding activities, we are in charge almost completely of the entire class on both 1st and 8th grade. For the same reason, according to our mentor teacher Claudia Muñoz, and also according to the new curricular model called Priorization of Contents, also known as Priorización de Contenidos in Spanish, we create content like power presentations with some exercise on it related to what is the curricula asking us to teach. Finally, as final reflections, we can say several things. The first one is that teaching itself is difficult and hard to keep forward on it. And with this online semesters in which the whole work from the professors are being at home in a computer, now teaching is much more difficult than before. Secondly, in the other hand, even though we taught virtually, we understood in a better way how to use many of the tools that technology has had for us since the beginning of this pandemic. One of these examples is Zoom. Third, we understood how difficult it is for everyone to have a perfect performance during this online class. The main reason is because of the internet. Some people do not have the proper access to it. In other hand, some of these people cannot access because they can't afford it. Or some people for other factors, such as poor connection because of their location or just because nowadays the internet performance has been very poor in general terms because of the high demand of everyone in the country. And finally, we just reflected in how lucky we are. This is for two main reasons. 
The first reason is because luckily we are living this pandemic in 2020. That means that many of our activities like this intensive practicum or also in addition to attend university classes are much more easier to do it thankfully to the technological resources that we have as a society in 2020. And, and in addition, we feel very lucky in other hand because in comparison to other careers or other programs, we have this opportunity to replace in some way this intensive practicum for a kind of online practicum, giving us the possibility to move and keep moving forward with our practicum and therefore with our career program. Well, so this is our video reflective diary number one. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't remember to stay safe and keep social distance. Bye bye.